everybody. Um, we're just going to go through the wave speed work uh, from day one. Go through this really quickly. Uh, the first one is asking for the term. Oops. The term for each variable. Velocity, just like first try, meters per second. Frequency is a new one. Uh, hertz, but it's also the same from trimester one. And wavelength, anything in length, we're going to use meters. So uh, part Two, or number two asks us a wave has a frequency of 540 hertz and is traveling at 340 meters per second. What is the wavelength? So if we look at that, they're giving us our frequency at 540 hertz and they're giving us our velocity at 340 meters per second and asking for the wavelength. So that's the one we're searching for. Write the equation down, that's pretty easy. It's found right up here at the top. V equals frequency times lambda. Lambda represents that Greek letter, uh, represents wavelength. When we substitute in, 340 meters per second equals 540 uh, hertz times our unknown lambda, so the, what we're searching for. To get lambda all by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 540 hertz. And when we divide 340 by 540, get an answer of 0 0.629. I'm going to round that to 3, and because it's wavelength, we have our answer in. All right, so 0 0.63 meters. I guess that equals lambda. Uh, number three, a wave has a wavelength of 125 meters and a speed of 120, or sorry, 20 meters. So we know our velocity is 20 meters per second. Our frequency is what we don't know, so we're searching for F, and our lambda is equal to 120. Five meters. Write that equation. V equals frequency times lambda. Even though I wrote that backwards, V equals frequency times lambda, or frequency times wavelength. We can substitute in now. Twenty meters per second equals F, which we still don't know, times 125 meters. We're going to divide by 125 meters to get F all by itself. And when we take one, or sorry, 20 divided by 120, F equals 0 0.16. And because we're in the units of frequency, that's hertz. So your answer is 0 0.616 hertz. Two more. A uh, wavelength has a frequency of 900 hertz and a wavelength of 200 meters. What is the speed? So now we're finally looking for velocity. Uh, so we don't know what our velocity is. We know that our frequency is 900 hertz and our wavelength is 20 meters. Write that equation. V equals F times lambda. And now we can substitute in V equals 900 hertz times 200 meters. And when we take 900 times 200, we get 180,000 because it's a speed of velocity meters per second. And our last one, again, we're going to be looking for the velocity. So we have a wavelength with a, uh, or sorry, a wave with a wavelength of 0 0.5 meters and a frequency of 120 hertz. We still don't know velocity. We're looking for our frequency, or we have our frequency of 120 hertz, and our wavelength is 0.5 meters. That equation V equals F times lambda goes right there. Now let's substitute in. We still don't know V. 120 hertz equals our F, and our lambda is 0.5 meters. 
And when we do this, we find out that our velocity is 60 meters per second. Uh, hopefully this helps you get through this assignment. Make sure you got all of them right. Uh, if you have any questions, don't feel, or sorry, feel free to reach out to us. Don't hesitate. Um, and talk to you guys soon.